Us Two by A. A. Milne Wherever I am, there's always Pooh, there's always Pooh and me. Whatever I do, he wants to do. Where are you going today, says Pooh. Well, that's very odd, cos I was too. Well, let's go together, says Pooh, says he. Let's go together, says Pooh. What's twice eleven? I said to Pooh. Twice what? said Pooh to me. I think it ought to be twenty-two. Well, just what I think myself, said Pooh. It wasn't an easy sum to do. But that's what it is, said Pooh, said he. That's what it is, said Pooh. Let's look for dragons, I said to Pooh. Yes, let's, said Pooh to me. We crossed the river and found a few. Yes, those are dragons, all right, said Pooh. As soon as I saw their beaks, I knew. That's what they are, said Pooh, said he. That's what they are, said Pooh. Let's frighten the dragons, I said to Pooh. Well, that's right, said Pooh to me. I'm not afraid, I said to Pooh, and I held his paw and I shouted, Shoo! Silly old dragons! And off they flew. I wasn't afraid, said Pooh, said he. I'm never afraid with you. So wherever I am, there's always Pooh. There's always Pooh and me. What would I do, I said to Pooh, if it wasn't for you? And Pooh said, true, it isn't much fun for one, but two can stick together, says Pooh, says he. That's how it is, says Pooh. Now We Are Six by A. A. Milne When I was one, I had just begun. When I was two, I was nearly new. When I was three, I was hardly me. When I was four, I was not much more. When I was five, I was just alive. But now I am six, I'm as clever as clever. So I think I'll be six now for ever and ever. Wind on the Hill by A. A. Milne No one can tell me, nobody knows, where the wind comes from, where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere as fast as it can. I couldn't keep up with it, not if I ran. But if I stopped holding the string of my kite, it would blow with the wind for a day and a night. And then, when I found it, wherever it blew, I should know that the wind had been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes. But where the wind comes from, nobody knows. Vespers by A. A. Milne Little boy kneels at the foot of the bed, Droops on the little hand's little gold head. Hush, hush, whisper who dares. Christopher Robin is saying his prayers. God bless Mummy. I know that's right. Wasn't it fun in the bath tonight? The cold so cold and the hot so hot. Oh, God bless Daddy. I quite forgot. If I open my fingers a little bit more, I can see Nanny's dressing gown on the door. It's a beautiful blue, but it hasn't a hood. Oh, God bless Nanny and make her good. Mine has a hood, and I lie in bed and pull the hood right over my head, and I shut my eyes and I curl up small, and nobody knows that I'm there at all. Oh, thank you, God, for a lovely day. And what was the other I had to say? I said, bless Daddy. So what can it be? Oh, now I remember it. God bless me. Waiting at the Window by A. A. Milne These are my two drops of rain, waiting on the window pane. I am waiting here to see which the winning one will be. Both of them have different names. One is John and one is James. All the best and all the worst comes from which of them is first. James has just begun to ooze. He's the one I want to lose. John is waiting to begin. He's the one I want to win. James is going slowly on. Something sort of sticks to John. Oh, John is moving off at last. James is going pretty fast. John is rushing down the pane. James is going slow again. James has met a sort of smear. John is getting very near. Is he going fast enough? James has found a piece of fluff. John has quickly hurried by. James was talking to a fly. John is there, and John has won. Look, I told you, here's the sun. Sneasels by A. A. Milne 
Christopher Robin had weasels and sneezels. They bundled him into his bed. They gave him what goes with a cold in the nose and some more for a cold in the head. They wondered if weasels could turn into measles, if sneezels would turn into mumps. They examined his chest for a rash and the rest of his body for swellings and lumps. They sent for some doctors in sneezels and weasels to tell them what ought to be done. All sorts and conditions of famous physicians came hurrying round at a run. They all made a note of the state of his throat. They asked if he suffered from thirst. They asked if the sneezels came after the weasels or if the first sneezel came first. They said, if you teasel a sneezel or weasel, a measle may easily grow. But humour or pleasel the weasel or sneezel, the measle will certainly go. They expounded the reasons for sneezels and weasels, the manner of measles when new. They said, if he freezels in draughts and in breezels, then pleasels may even ensue. Christopher Robin got up in the morning. The sneezels had vanished away, and the look in his eye seemed to say to the sky, Now, how to amuse them today? <laughs>